Okay. You're all right. Yeah. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> hey, guys. Okay. Let's see what microphone I'm using here. Oops. Oh, no. Uh, uh, shoot. I forgot to check it. All right, so Amy's recovering, and my voice is funky because I don't have COVID. <laughs> No, he doesn't have COVID, thank goodness. Oh. Starting to get concerned for a little while there. Gonna... <clears throat> yeah, Brett ha Brett actually has a um, sinus infection. Yeah, I went to the doctor and I got tested. It's not it's not COVID. Are you patient? I'm glad. <laughs> it started out I, it started out as allergies. It did. And then it progressed. I had the sinus congestion and I let it go and I let it go and let it go and let it go because I was focused on, on seeing about Amy and I'm not fussing, not at all. I know. And uh, by the time I got to the doctor, it was into my bronchial tubes and, but it's not in my lungs. You read so. Sean's comment? No, I didn't. The mummy suit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing. I was freezing. Hey, there's Rayleigh. Hey, Rayleigh. <coughs> I was freezing in that room before going into surgery, and they put this little tiny thin blanket thing on me, and I thought, well, this isn't going to help any, but okay, whatever. And then she plugged it into some kind of blower, <coughs> and it filled up these air chambers in it with, with warm air, and it was great, but I felt like a baked potato. It was it was kind of like a, a an air mattress. Yeah, it was laid on top of her, just all warm and cozy. It was cool, <laughs> but uh, no, that's about as hard as she can cough. Oh uh, yeah, there there's no. I'm gonna try to control my cough for tonight. Well, I I really considered pre recording this because my cough was so bad. I didn't know if I'd be able to get through this live stream and not gross you all out. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, we're going to give it our best shot. I am up and moving around. Um, they had me walking that afternoon, uh, Monday afternoon after surgery, uh, about six o'clock that evening. Now, um, take some elderberry bread. Uh, yes, I have been. I have been. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. My surgery lasted um, quite a bit longer than expected. Um, I had a lot of, scar tissue from previous surgeries that um, basically he told me it looked like a cobweb of scar tissue when he opened me up. So, which is kind of what we expected, right? Which is what was causing a lot of my pain and things <clears throat> like that. So um, he was able to go in and remove all of that. And um, he did have, um, he did unintentionally cause some, some damage to my bladder. It wasn't an accident. Well, it right. was necessary. It was um, in removing some of the scar tissue. So um, I came home with a catheter for about a week, which I wasn't excited about, but I'm dealing with it. You'll be wireless again before you know it. Right. Oh, thanks. <coughs> <coughs> I miss you too, Rayleigh. I miss Kathy. Um, Maybe one day next week, Ray, you can come visit me. Okay. Maybe you can come spend the day with me. I just need a Patty. little bit of time to recuperate. I'm I'm slow moving. I have one speed and that's like super slow. <laughs> <laughs> but um Stringfield, Kate, uh, Gray Man. Uh, Hardneck Farms is here. Crazy. Ed. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm making it. I'm uh, slow and sure. <laughs> uh, there is nothing speedy no, no. at all. <laughs> so. No, everything, uh, everything having to do with her surgery and all of it went very well. Um, thank you all. I know a lot of you saw the post on Facebook. <coughs> of and, the mummy suit. And yeah, I was and, so mad at you for sent prayers and you know um you know we we appreciate that you guys are so awesome the uh she got mad at me when when she came out of surgery and saw that picture on facebook she was mad i said before you get mad mad look at all those prayers you got 
because of that picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm up and I'm moving. I even made coffee this morning slowly. It took like three times as long to make it, but slowly is better than not at all. I'm getting there. And uh, they've got me on some pretty awesome pain meds at night. So, um, which I haven't taken anything but Motrin during the day today for sure. Um, <coughs> but um, the pain meds are helping me to rest at night. So, um, I've only been taking those at night. The My pain is very minimal. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has good drugs. <laughs> I'll tell you how things went to get this woman home. Oh. All right. So, I was so glad to go home. And then the process to get home was here, terrible. Here in Southwest Louisiana, it's been like it's been raining, not nonstop, but like raining some every day. Showers, spotty showers. Well, uh, <clears throat> good thing was when, when she finally got released. On Tuesday, it wasn't raining at the moment, so we were able to get her all loaded up in the car and everything. Well, there was an issue with the catheter because they, they changed the bag out, and uh, well, the yeah, that was a big old thing. We we went down to the uh, the pharmacy nearby, the Walgreens, and um, it turns out we we waited there for over an hour, I think. Oh God, for yeah, freaking meds. And, and I was uh, tired. I get tired super easy. So just just the act of sitting upright takes well, the, a lot uh, out of me. The the bag that they put on the that they changed the, uh, the catheter bag that they put on her before leaving the hospital. The tube wasn't training into it. So it was backing her up. It was backing up into my bladder, yeah. Her damaged bladder that doesn't need to be filled up. So it's not supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. So uh Right there next to the car. I mean, we did what we had to do. I opened the bottom of the valve in the bottom of the bag, let it leak on what did get into the bag, let it leak onto the car, onto the um, the parking lot, the ground, and I changed that bag back to the other one because that one was working. So technically, I peed on the ground. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I took up a five gallon <coughs> bucket with a strong shoulder strap. <laughs> no. And then mm -hmm. since. Since we live outside of the city, we uh, about twenty five miles. About twenty of our miles, uh, twenty miles of our trip, is on Interstate Ten. Well, there was a bad hazmat spill. Of, uh, an eighteen wheeler the flipped and whatever, and they had the entire uh, I ten closed at one point. In both directions. In both directions. Yeah. So traffic was a nightmare. Traffic wasn't moving on I ten. The backup plan was to be on to go on Highway 90. That was all full of traffic, ridiculous. So we had to go another route, which included four railroad crossings. And if you've ever gone over a railroad crossing on your way home from surgery, not fun. No, it was not a pleasant <coughs> ride. So no, everything we, we hurt it, and every bump hurt. And was, <laughs> Kate said I had a hazmat spill in the parking lot. Oh, geez. oh man. <clears throat> but yeah, it was it was an interesting trip for sure. And uh but we managed to get home and uh <sighs> It's it's been a, a slow ride, but you know we're getting there. We're getting a hammock there. in the car, yeah. Hey, Southern blessed. Who else am I missing? Shelly, Christy Betts, Wendy Hardnack is here. Yeah, we're um, just Warren Lewis. I got to talking and I forgot to Patty G. I think if I missed you, I'm sorry. Say hi. I'll say hi back. There's Kathy North Star Preps there. Yeah, I said hi to Kathy. I'm glad glad you made it this week, Kathy. She. She commented on the last week's last week's live stream as soon as it was over with that she just missed it. Oh Kathy man! Did. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, yeah, I uh, they they COVID tested me and I'm and good. Sean. Hey, Sean, North Shore Fairness. What's up, dude? The other Sean. Yeah. With his uh, other other glasses. Hey, Barb. 
Um, <sighs> yeah, so by now, everybody who won, the, I see seeing Barb's name reminded me. Everybody who won uh, stuff from our giveaway, was it last week? Two weeks ago. You should have received Don't your winnings me. by now, your prizes. <coughs> well, hello, David. David's here with Kate. Oh, hey, David. Um, I was looking for his name in the chat. I see it now. So that was uh, that was pretty much Monday and Tuesday. Abby stayed here with, with the dog and taking care of, How, taking yeah, care of the house while, we're, and while we were gone. Abby, Abby's been a champ. She She's cooked supper and cleaning up. And Abby she, does amazing. She, she's so been trying to wait on me hand and foot, and I keep fussing at her because I need to do stuff. And yeah, uh, she cooked for us Tuesday evening when we got home. Monday, she didn't feel like it, and I was the only one that came home Monday night. So I just brought us both McDonald's. <coughs> hey, I ate pretty good at the hospital. They gave me rice and gravy and peas and carrots. And nice. Oh, man, it was pretty good. I was impressed. Um, all my nurses and everything were, were like, Oh, great Just service. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And the doctor, the doctor explained everything real well. He he over explained more than he needed to at some points. And I was like, mm, yeah, I got that. I understand. Because we both have some medical yeah. training. What's up, Biggie? Hey, Lisa. So uh, Wednesday, once, uh, once I knew she was home and in Abby's care, um, I went ahead and took my opportunity <laughs> to go and see about me at, at urgent care. And, uh, <clears throat> I went in because, because my stuff is all respiratory. I went in thinking, Lord, they're going to treat me like a leper. And if I'm not sick with the, the COVID now, I'm probably going to get sick because they're going to stick me with sick people and nothing, nothing like that. Nothing. I just, I had a mask on. And that was it. Just treated like everybody else. And uh, once they once they called me to the back, uh, of course, there was no other patients waiting. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But uh, once they called me to the back, uh, <clears throat> one of the first things mentioned was, do you want a COVID test? I said, well, yeah, of course. I want to make sure, you know. <coughs> so they did that. And um, just a couple of minutes, it came you back. Cough and your heads, yeah, heads turn. Exactly. And yeah. right now, it makes it worse because I can't cough. <laughs> So it sounds like a fake cough. I oh, hate yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but this, this doctor, this doctor who had, this is what bothered me about it. Okay. I, hey, I Albany had, Mountain. I had good service. I always do at that urgent care, but this particular doctor, <laughs> and I didn't get her name and I'm not trying to call her out either, but uh, this particular doctor, uh, when she found out I, I don't have, you know, the shot, uh, she said, well, you should get it. I recommend you get it. Uh, it's safe. Well, first, I have I have a couple things that I have uh, wrong with that, that I consider wrong with that. Number one, you're not my doctor. You've never seen me before, so you don't know if it's right for me. And number two, um, yeah, there's a whole lot about it that says it's not safe. So anyway, before I get off too far into that. <coughs> yeah, well, I know about the holding the pillow. It just, whatever you do, don't laugh. Yeah, right. That really hurts. But um, if I laugh really hey, hard, which Abby got me a couple of times yesterday, but um, I can I can usually hold my stomach pretty well with my hands. Um, the pillow helps some. It's <coughs> more like just soreness. So th there's not a whole lot that's helping. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, Patty, I need to get on my other channel soon so I can talk about that stuff because there is a particular doctor who is the inventor of that technology who says, uh, you know, he has his reservations about the safety. Anywho, <laughs> I really don't want to break off into that tonight. <coughs> well, right before surgery, we had a cow loose in our backyard. The bull, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, some was pretty one wonderful. of the neighbors had a bull get away from it from them, and uh, it, it came, ran up our driveway. Came down our driveway or up? Up down? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. 
<laughs> I can't laugh because I've got this fuzz. It feels like my, my lungs are fuzzy. And it's going to make me cough. But uh, anyway, the, the bull came along the, along the driveway. Thank you, Kate. Uh, straight through the backyard. We caught it on our security cameras and then off into the, um, the overgrown, field. overgrown wilderness that is next door. And uh, it was, man, it was an adventure. I didn't go help them, but there was there was people on ATVs, on foot, on horseback. Oh, it was it was a mess, and our driveway, was, uh, our yard is muddy. And hey, Christine, it, it was starting to look like a mud hole. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Up or down, it was in the driveway, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Arthur. Uh, safe is a relative term. To me, safe would be no risk, no side effects, a hundred percent. A approval and you know yeah <coughs> yeah there would be no question then it would be safe try some mullen tea and we'll have, oh yeah mm. i okay. have some of that mullen that uh the seed that you gave me uh amanda is growing i have two little bitty plants that came up so they <laughs> they they're doing pretty well right now so i'm hey, excited Wendy. I need to transplant those into the garden, but um, it's going to have to wait. And Lori, I see you there. I think I have a little bit of dried mullein here. There actually this? is it in there. I don't know what's in this. I don't remember. Uh, I don't know, but that smells amazing. I yeah. I, <laughs> I gotta I read it like it. an old man. <laughs> I sniff it when I walk by. Uh, catnip, Colt's foot, Damiana. Raspberry leaf, skull cap, lavender, peppermint. Oh, no a tobacco more. free alternative. It smells delicious. And it's uh, Henry from Zen Incense Shop and um, Mind and Body Co. Mm -hmm. is the one who sent this to us. Cajun Homestead. What's happening, Bill? <coughs> <coughs> All right. And then today. Your parents came over for a visit. Yep, and they brought us some. And we were hoping Rayleigh was going to be with them, but she wasn't. I know. So Amy's mom made fresh okra and tomatoes, smothered yep. okra and tomatoes from everything from the garden except the onions that were in it. Yep. And oh, and, man, and it brought was that so over. good. I ate two bowls Delicious. already. Delicious. And they had this shirt made for me. I don't know if, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Yeah. It says, some call me a firefighter. But the most important, call me dad. And it's got Cheyenne, Katie, uh, Cheyenne, Caitlin, Abigail, and Emily. That's my four girls. <coughs> so I'm glad I said it looks like a bag of pot there, Britt. Hey, Evans Essentials. Yeah. I was kind of concerned when I got that in the mail. I was I was really impressed that it made it through the mail like that. Southern Bell teacher, hello. So our tiny I thought acres. the same thing. What on earth did Henry send me? You know, I'm like, um, could I get arrested <coughs> for this? <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I'm going to shift a little. You're going to take a shift. If it wouldn't hurt me, I would slap you. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> yeah. Oh. I think we're caught up. I think that was everything. I feel like I got filleted by a, like a fish. She got filleted, guys. Filleted. Sean. Yeah, I know. I know, Patty. I just I took one look at the bag and I was like, mm, how did this <coughs> make it in the mail? But it smells wonderful. I have it on the kitchen table, and when I walk by slowly, I pick it up and sniff on it and then put it back. <laughs> I know my cough is terrible. And mine, like I can't, I can't laugh without coughing, because it's just it, I hear it that, that little. Yeah, it sounds like I static just, oh, in your lungs. I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it at all. What? Where?
taken care of. I'm, I'm just, I'm really glad because when he, when I called him at the hospital, Courtney's um, husband says hello to everyone. His thumbs just aren't fast enough. Um, I think I, I, Oh, when you left the hospital Monday afternoon, I sent you home to come rest because I mean, I was good. I had a whole staff. Yeah. Well, what would I have done? All right. Um, they, they were really taken up, you know, taking oh. care of me pretty well. So, Bill says it's storming over there. Oh, y'all keep that mess. I don't want it. The Cajun homestead is about an hour northwest of us. <laughs> Sean said, fee late. I love it. <laughs> oh. <coughs> no, I sent him home to rest, and, you know, that uh, there was nothing he could do for me at the hospital. I mean, I had a whole team. <laughs> To my beck and call, pretty much. Once um, you calmed down <coughs> and trusted them. Yeah. Yeah, right at. <coughs> <coughs> okay, sorry, y'all. Uh, right after surgery, she came back to the room and she uh, still had all the medicine head stuff. And yeah. She chewed out that nurse. Stop it. <laughs> I had to go apologize to the nurse. She's like, oh, we deal with that all the time. <laughs> well, I was out of it and hey, Courtney. hurting and yeah. She was not doing what I wanted to do. So <clears throat> oh. don't, don't work on the phone. Oh yeah. The at symbol and typing doesn't work on the phone. Yeah. Right and now. see, what's funny is I I used to be iPhone only. For YouTube, like I would, I would watch people on, uh, I'll watch other people's lives on my phone, and before I got my my laptop, <coughs> and I didn't know that all you have to do is type the at symbol and the first two letters of someone's name, and then you could tag them. It is that easy. I was like, I've been like trying to hurry up and tag. You can't people. do that on your phone. Though. No, you can't do that on your phone. So I was like in a whole new world, tagging people like no business. I had time to take a breath. Sean wants to know what I told the nerd. That that's a private conversation, Sean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was I was a little upset. I, I'll tell I didn't it. I didn't want the. Um, I'll tell it. I'll tell it because because I remember all of it. <laughs> I bet you do. All right, so okay, immediately I'm after. I'm going to slide this way so they don't see me get up. <laughs> I'll slow I still see you. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> so here's what happened. Amy came back from, they wheeled her back, still on the bed from surgery. And, uh, and I saw it in her face like she was in some pain. And I, I really didn't expect that for her to come right out of surgery like that and be in that much pain. Well, <clears throat> it got to me. And when, when the nurse uh, said, I want to get, what, what was the injection? Demerol. Demerol, some, some real strong stuff. Demerol is strong for me. She it, said, it makes me kind of nauseous. So she I said, uh, yeah, she said, I'm going to give an injection. And Amy's, Amy was arguing and fighting uh, she didn't want it. <coughs> well, in my mind, my mind immediately went to 15 years ago. The last time I saw Amy in that situation, when we lost our daughter, we lost a pregnancy. And I said, Amy, quit arguing. And I said, nurse, give it to her. And I, I just took, <laughs> I took the, uh, I took the rap for that. So, uh, and then Amy fussed at the nurse and then I went and caught the nurse and I was like, look, you know, she's, she's not good right now. And then later on, I explained to Amy how it went and how I felt about it. And, uh, and, <laughs> and she, uh, she understood, she didn't, she still didn't really like it, but she understood. So and that was, yeah, that was a moment that, uh, I didn't like that at all. So, <coughs> <coughs> all 
you know, sometimes you just got to make the hard decisions. And so, well, let me say it like this. Sometimes it's better to apologize than ask permission. Watching on the TV and reading on, okay. See, you probably got my, my funky voice and surround sound then. No one likes to see their spouse in pain, 100%. 100% thumbs up. Well, I'm seeing, I see 40 watching and 36 thumbs up. So looks like we got a little bit of ways to go on the thumbs up. We appreciate you guys and all your support. We really do. It's nights like this that we can get on and, <clears throat> you know, we didn't really feel like doing much of anything today, but really looking forward to this interaction with y'all. So anyway, Amy's doing well. Uh, she's gonna. She's got. <coughs> she's got until Tuesday that she's got to keep that catheter. We're gonna go see. As long as there's no, they're gonna put a dye in and make sure there's no leaks in the bladder that was repaired. And uh, once, once they confirm that that's all good, they're gonna take the, uh, the catheter, and then she can. She can go wireless again, <laughs> and uh, it shouldn't be long. She should be, once that's out and done, uh, she should start really recovering quickly because I know with uh, having having all that, um, all that scar tissue taken out that's been giving her grief for all these years, uh, I, know, I know that's going to make a huge difference in quality of life. See, she had three C-sections. Uh, see, Katie's Katie's twenty. Abby's sixteen, and Emily would be fifteen. So that's uh, she had C-sections twenty years ago, sixteen years ago, and fifteen years ago. <coughs> and the last one was the uh, the super emergency one that had to hurry up and uh oh you've had five wow so yeah uh it was just scar tissue building on top of scar tissue how long till we can safely crack her up again uh we'll have to let you know at the beginning of next week's <laughs> Uh, live stream. See, right now I can't even laugh properly because I just get all choked up, and <coughs> I really don't want, didn't want you guys to have to see this. All my coughing nastiness, but at least it's not COVID, so that's a good thing. I don't know if she's going to want to come back or not. You know what we didn't do this when we first started? I didn't recognize uh, all of our channel members. So last week, was it last week? I think it was last week. We gained two. Yeah. Last week, we gained two channel members. Uh, Dutch Off-Grid Homesteading and His Way Homestead joined our channel last week. They joined and added their names with uh, along with Melinda Elliott, Christine Beadle, A. Leslie, North Shore Preparedness. Some of these guys are in the chat here tonight. Say, say hi to them when you see them. Uh, grow where you're planted homestead from Kate's Kitchen and inside Kate's Kitchen. All the Things Acres, Southern Blessed Homestead. The Tinkerer's Wife, Gary B. Homesteading with the Heberts and Zen Incense Shop. Thank you guys so much for being members of our, our channel. Your support goes a long way. Thank you so much. <coughs> Took you eight weeks to heal. Wow, Patty. That's a long time. Uh, 
Thank you, Dustin. Have a great night, buddy. I'm coming back. I just had to move a bit. Just had to move a bit? Yeah. I can't sit still for very long. Yeah, I understand. You're going to try Mullen tea, Amanda says. <coughs> we do have dry mold, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I know. Amanda sent me some. Okay. I just I gotta figure out where I put it. Okay. Is it pretty straightforward how to make the tea out of it? And you just like steep it like regular I, tea leaves? I think so, yeah. Okay, eight weeks is normal recovery time, yes. However, I did have, um, it was laparoscopic surgery, so I only have three tiny incisions on my, on, externally on my belly. Um, I have one in my belly button and one on either either side of my, my abdomen. On your flanks. Yeah. And then, um, but it's, it's internal that I, I have a lot of, um, he carterized a lot of the scar tissue and removed it. <coughs> and, um. Hey, Gary. Um, obviously, I have a giant incision now across the top of my bladder. So That's one thing we forgot to mention. The uh, the surgery took probably twice as long as it should have. Yeah. Or would have because of all the scar tissue that he had to go in, yeah. cauterize, and remove. Well, from what he told me is um, when he talked to me Tuesday afternoon, he told me the minute the minute he stuck the camera in, he knew it was going to take a lot longer, because he said it looked like, <coughs> like spider webs of of scar tissue just everywhere. I joked with Katie, who is Katie is her oldest. Uh, we have Cheyenne, who's older, but but Cheyenne's got a different mom. But anyway, I joked with Katie and said that she's been leaving a mess ever since she was born. Oh. I've been dealing with a lot of that What's scar up, tissue pain since um, since my first C-section 20 years ago. And um, so, yeah, it, it's going to be nice to not have that anymore. <coughs> uh, that was that was really limiting my mobility and, you know. Couldn't do a sit-up. No. Couldn't do a proper sit-up. So, yeah, working out and losing weight and, you know, staying healthy and, and things like that. It just, it was it was more of a challenge. While I'm thinking about it, Stringfield Ridge, I know we need to do the online stuff. I just haven't had the time to do it. But I want to let you know that the three of us are coming <coughs> to the picnic. We're probably just all do chicken and, or and something. And we're all going to do chicken and uh so that's three chickens. We'll owe you 15 bucks. We'll take care of that as soon as we get a chance to online. I'm just kind of giving you the heads up. <coughs> yeah, I need, I need to go watch their um, their video too. Um, I did jump in on their live stream Friday night um, for a little while. I was I was in and listening. I didn't say too much, but I was I was lurking. K A M B. After losing weight, I had a tummy tuck. All the tissue removed. That was worse than the. T I hear that that's like that. Welcome, by the way. Yeah. Good to see you. <coughs> oh, pay at the gate. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we're done then. All right. Cool. Eight ounces of water with one to two tablespoons of dried mold and steep in boiling water for 10 minutes. Strain and sweeten if you. Hola, can. Emma. Um. Yeah, um, I think it was uh, Amanda had told me you can add it to you know whatever kind of tea that you you like. So you know if you drink black tea hot, then you can add the mullen <laughs> to that as well. Emma says she hopes you're well. I'm making it. <laughs> Brett, can you give us info about the picnic? Oh, um, it, I know it's on September 11th. In Kentucky, I don't know all the details. I'm so sidetracked right now with all of our fry, our stuff going well, on. Well, Stringfield Ridge is in the in the that <coughs> there, in, um, in charge of that whole thing. Yeah. So uh, anybody who has a link to the event, please feel free to Steeping share. In the boiling water. If you have a wrench. Minutes. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Good to see you. My recovery is going pretty well. I'm this chair is creaking and it's driving me nuts. 
Um, I am slow moving, but pain wise, oh, pain wise, I'm not so bad. There you go. Grand Rivers, Kentucky. I thought so, Thank but I, I knew somebody would have my up. back. I always want to say Great Rivers, and I know that's not right. <coughs> Heartland Homesteaders Picnic, September 11th in Grand, River, Grand Rivers, Kentucky. Info on Heartland Homesteaders Facebook page. <laughs> Let's see if I can find that. Yeah, my, my recovery is going pretty well. Um, it, it's going to take a little longer than I initially expected because of, you know, like I said, with all the, the scar, tissue, scar tissue removal and stuff that he had to do, um, I wasn't expecting the whole bladder reconstruction um, experience. However, um, I, the good thing about talking with my doctor so much beforehand, he knew what I wanted. Um, okay, Amanda. Cool. Amanda's going to send some more mullen. Okay. Um, In, in taking the time with the doctor, um, several visits before, before the surgery, um, we, he really got to know me and really know, got to know what I was looking for and, and things like that as far as, you know, taking care of my pain. So, um, he made the decision without talking to Brent, um, during surgery to go ahead and remove the scar tissue from my bladder, even though it, it caused the opening you know, it did cause damage to my bladder. Um, he made the decision to do that. And just knowing that I would want that, that scar tissue removed and, and carterized because if he'd have left it there, then I would have been dealing with the same issues again and having to do the surgery again later on. So hey, John. definitely didn't want um, any of that. I wanted it one and done. And it looks like so far that's, that's, looking like how it's going to happen. So, um, I will go Tuesday of next week, um, for some bladder testing. Um, they're going to put a, a dye into my bladder to make sure that the, the incision away. is healing and, um, what I'm gonna step away so I can do some loud coughing. Oh, but, um, <laughs> They're going to inject a dye into my bladder to um, to check the incision point to make sure that it's holding liquid like it should, that it's healing up like it like it should. And um, as long as that, that goes well, then I go. I'll leave um, that procedure and go straight to my doctor's office and um, remove the catheter. So that will be a blessing. <laughs> Brett says I'll be wireless again. But um, it hasn't been terrible. I mean, I definitely wasn't expecting to deal with all this, but it, it's it's not the worst thing in the world for sure. Um, but he's he's managing my pain without narcotics, which is is great um, because that's one thing I asked. I, I'm I'm very sensitive to to medications. I don't like the heavy heavy narcotic medications. Um, I don't like the medicine head feeling that it gives me and, and things like that. And a lot of those medications, the stronger medications make me nauseous. So, um, he was very sensitive to that. He, um, right now I'm on, um, just Motrin. Um, he does have me on a light dose of, um, Percocet as needed, but I haven't been taking it unless I absolutely need to. Now I, there's most nights I take that and that helps me to sleep. It helps me to relax and to rest and things like that. But I, oh, a hundred years from now, you won't even remember it. Uh, hopefully I won't be here in a hundred years, but um, <coughs> I, I will definitely remember this pain for a while. Um, I was not expecting to wake up out of surgery to be in that much pain. And, um, that, that kind of, it did, it, it, it kind of rumbled me a little bit, you know? Um, I don't know. It just, it shook me. <laughs> but, um, 
we were able to deal with it. And once, once they were able to get me comfortable, um, we were able to manage my pain. So it's, it's bearable now. So, well, I wasn't, I wasn't really angry as I was because the nurse wasn't listening to me and I was trying, I was trying to shift to get um, the pain to stop. And she was insisting on this narcotic medication and I didn't want it. I didn't because um, I've had that stuff before and it makes me nauseous and I didn't really want it. And Brett gave her the go ahead and I didn't know. And Oh, it was, a, it was a mess, but yeah, I did. I did fuss her quite a bit. Um, but my main thing wasn't because of the medicine It's because I was trying to tell her, give me a minute, just, just give me a minute to, to see if I can, I could calm it on my own. And it didn't happen the way I wanted, but we, we got it figured out. It was, it was definitely a, a new experience. Uh, yeah. And, and I wasn't angry as much as I was, it was, I was hurting and I guess I wasn't expecting to be in that much pain because even with my C-sections, they had, they had given me some kind of pain medicine like prior to waking up, I guess. So the pain wasn't like all at once. And oh man, this was <laughs> everything hurt. <laughs> it it was, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty, pretty intense. I don't wake up angry. I let him sleep until noon. <laughs> Um, no, um, I'm right now, all I'm taking is uh, Motrin. I do, I do take the, the heavier pain meds at night, but it's really, it's more so to help me to sleep than anything because the pain itself is not that bad. I do get tired pretty quickly. Um, I made, um, coffee this morning, which took three times as long as it normally does, but, um, I think that's what they were giving me at the hospital was tramadol. I'm not sure, but, um, they did, they blew a vein in my arm. So I wasn't able to get IV meds anymore. Um, without them having to switch out IVs and which it really wasn't necessary at that point. So I told them not to, not to even bother, but, um, I was up and moving around at the hospital and, um, Oh heck, I got up the next morning and brushed my teeth and washed my face and, and brushed my hair and did all kinds of stuff before she even came in the room to check my vitals. So she kind of fussed me a little bit for getting up. Tremel is what I take for fiber. Yeah. Um, I think that's what they, they were giving me by IV. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I know they're they're really funny now about giving um, pain medications and and things like that because of you know a lot of it you can get addicted to it that I don't worry too much about I I don't like it at all. I just <clears throat> oh, no, my last trip to the hospital I had three weeks. Oh, yikes! <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, when she stuck it, she she went through and through the vein and then tried to push past it. And yeah, it gave trouble the whole time it was in. And it's it's pretty bruised and sore. It was it was sore the whole time the IV was in there. And then they tried to push meds through and that burned and oh it was a mess. But for the so most part it was pretty good. Our uh changing changing gears a little bit. I got this out of the garden this morning. First, well, there's two of them, but the first two eggplants out of the garden. I was excited about that. 
mom brought us a couple of eggplants, <coughs> a couple of tomatoes, and um. Uh, our homestead sitter, Thelma, made out like a bandit this morning because uh, we had some yeah. tomatoes in, in here just ripening and some got overripe and we lost those. But she got like probably 20 pounds of tomatoes. Uh, probably closer to 30, but yeah. For free, just so we just so they well, didn't go bad. She came and picked them up. She's going to make <coughs> some spaghetti sauce. And um, I think they were having a dinner or something at their church, maybe. Yeah. She was going to be spreading the love around town between family and church family. And, yeah, we, just, and we didn't want it to go to waste. Yeah. That's why I told her, I said, I need somebody that can, that can do something with them and use them. I, I'd rather somebody eat them and use them before they go bad. No, before, before your surgery though, you did, uh, Amy did 32 pints of chicken breast. 20. I'm reading on the marker board. Then, 24 pints of barbecue sauce, homemade barbecue sauce. Four pints of basting sauce. That's the byproduct of the barbecue sauce, which is still usable. It's great stuff. And uh, seven quarts of diced tomatoes. This is all. I also stuff did seven quarts of chicken broth. Broth, yeah. So she did all kinds of uh, work in preparation mm -hmm. for her surgery. <coughs> and oh, still, we we kind of lost some tomatoes. There's some. There's some there. There's getting soft for me lose some more actually. no we're not because abby's gonna cut those up for me tomorrow okay. that's gonna be my lunch okay i, I kept a, a I got, handful i got five more cucumbers this morning out of the garden oh. yeah we need to cut up cucumbers and tomatoes and, and i ate the handful of blueberries that we had i ate that in cereal this morning it was delicious I'm really liking getting the blueberries off the plant and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I, I think tomorrow I will actually get dressed and do a little bit of walking around the yard if you'll cut the grass. I need the, to cut yeah, the, the grass. Is pray for high. me tomorrow because I need to cut the grass. And I've already, I, I have allergies. So it's already bad on me when I cut the grass. And I've got this going on. And I, know it's hot. I know you don't want to hear it, but wearing a mask would keep some of that. Um, <coughs> Wearing the mask, the CDC doesn't want to hear it, but wearing a mask also keeps your germs back in your face. I know, but it would keep the the pollen and crap out of your nose. But anyway, it's it's hot, and it's going to be hard to breathe. Yeah, but I need yeah. to try to wear a mask. <coughs> Okay, I bet that's awesome. Fresh peaches off the tree. Oh yeah, that's cool. Didn't you get some peaches when we went to that little farmer's market? Yep, they're in the fridge. Oh, that's been a little while. Yeah, I forgot all about. I ate that. one. They're really good. That's all I got to, and then surgery. Oh. Don't do too much too fast. On the oh, the, there's no fast speed in here. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but um. No, I just, I want to walk. That's that I don't walk quickly <laughs> by any means, but um, I, I do want to be outside and walking and, and moving around a little bit. And they encourage me to walk so I don't get blood clots in my legs and, and chest. So freezing them until I have enough to make something. That's, that's smart. Yeah. yeah. Peach pie. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever had peach pie. Peach cobbler? Yeah, peach cobbler. I like peach cobbler. Oh, that that one that I'm making the cast iron. And it's so it's a simple recipe that I got from a, a fire not, captain. Yeah, that's cheating. Though. It's no, it is. It's cheating, but it's delicious. It's uh you take three cans, three cans of uh, peaches, diced peaches in heavy syrup. That's the best one in the heavy syrup for this recipe. You just dump those in a cast iron pan and you take two boxes of cake mix, just the dry cake mix and sprinkle over the top of that. And then you take two sticks of butter and cut them up in pads and put that all over and it and just bake it. I don't remember, I guess, 375, 400 for a while. And then it's just it's so good. So good. What yeah. peach? Oh, this stuff that I'm talking about is best with some. Bluebell, um, vanilla. the vanilla, homemade vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. 
so good. I definitely don't need that right now. Mm. A couple cast iron things for you if you want them when you come. One is a Dutch oven. Sure. Wow. I'll never turn that down. And Sean, I have to make a video. I have it's to make a video. No, no. I I really don't want to be talking like this on the video, but if I if I must, then I must. But I need to make a video because Sean at North Shore Preparedness has seen my cast iron collection and he insists that I show it off. <coughs> and I, I want to do that. I do. I just I haven't found the time or the motivation to line up. Time, motivation, they don't line up. Well, that's awesome. Have to recondition. I can do that. I can do that. That's and if awesome. I don't, if I don't have the time to, to uh, <laughs> fuss me, Sean, fuss me. Uh, if I don't have the time to, to to redo the cast iron myself, then I have a guy that I can have do that for me. Oh so, yeah, he's he's done a he's, couple of pieces for us. Yeah. And, uh, and in the video that I'm gonna make, I'll show the ones that he's done. He just he's got an electrolysis tank, e tank for short. It just it takes it takes it down to bare metal and then he reseasons it three times before he he gives yeah. it back. <coughs> Fresh peach milkshakes. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. Hmm. I'm not really big on peaches. I don't know. Oh why. Abby was half fussing when she got to work today because the new blizzard came out. Okay. It's a uh, is that the Nestle Toll the, House? The Toll House soft, soft batch blizzard. So she's she was kind of fussing because she didn't want to work in the in the cold kitchen, is what she calls it. It's where they yeah. prepare the ice cream and stuff. I might want to. Oh yeah, Kate, just let me know. Uh, Pickled we, peaches. Um, we'll definitely get with them. Um, we can figure out the pricing and everything for it because. Uh, <coughs> he does some kind of weird measurement. Uh, uh, he measures. It's a uh, what was it? A dollar an inch, but he measures from the top edge of the rim. Down, this is the inside of the the pan, from the top edge down and across, and then back up to the other top edge, at the at the widest point, and it's a dollar per inch. That's how he does this. But a cast iron, I mean a, a Dutch oven. Is two pieces because you've got a lid too. Hey, Marie, how are you? Sorry about that. Hey, Marie. Um, somebody got a new house. Oh yeah, I'm excited. It's, that is exciting. That's. So I was cool. excited. I, I saw the thumbnail. I hadn't even had a chance to watch the video yeah, yet. Yeah, me neither. And uh, I was, I was so giddy just looking at the thumbnail. I was like, yay! Because so, she's been waiting for so long. Hey, I wanted to ask if. Uh, have we had any any buffering issues here tonight? I don't think so because I'm wired in, and I think that took care of it. Well, and we're in the kitchen this time. Yeah. Well, I mean, we may have to move back into the kitchen. We we'll have to do without our big TV. No buffering at all. Good. Awesome. Which I'm okay without the big TV. I mean, I, I mean, can. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It's just to move back and forth. That's that's stress. That's stress on me on Thursday afternoons to have to move everything, get everything set up here. You'll be okay. I'll just have you do it. I just stuck my computer here. <coughs> yeah, that's all you had to do. I had to run the cord and set up the camera. Oh, things I do for you people. <laughs> I got <coughs> feel right. like a catfish. I don't want to hear it. Feel-aid. That's what I felt like. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh, I man. I love it. <laughs> Kate will come set, come set it up for you every week. <laughs> Someone got a new huge project. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get it. it it's going to be awesome when it's done. 
I just know. Christy said poor. poor. <laughs> Guys, if you aren't part of our uh, Facebook group yet, uh, you should do that. Go and find us. It's Bruce Art Homestead. Prep stating the Cajun way. Uh, you'll see it's the only group by that name. Uh, come and join us. We have a lot of fun over there. And that's for uh, that's mainly for the times that you know I want to share something with you, but it's not video worthy. So, hey, Kiri, how are things in well, Texas? Oh, we we share a lot of um, like photos and stuff, like the rainbow and and yeah. things like that. It's I don't know. Well, I think I did the rainbow. Actually, I think I shared on my personal page. But regardless, well, you should have put it on the homestead. I know I should have. Huh? Oh, but um. But I think we're we're going on an hour here, and uh, I don't want to I don't want to have us sitting here too long. My cough is starting to come back, and I'm, well, I'm really fighting it back. Yeah. And Sean's got a Sean's got a storm coming in. Oh, he's gonna be filming the storm. That's cool. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, well, does anybody have any prayer requests? Prayer requests. Let us know. Um. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, we're definitely going to be praying for Amy. Oh, Christy. Great. You gave Christy your son. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying I to know stay it sounds, hydrated. I know it sounds crazy, but like he's coughing and it makes me tense up. Oh, if. I've got that rumble, and if you can hear that, it's like an instinct. If you hear somebody's chest rumbling, you want to cough. Well, I've been hearing you cough, and it makes me want to cough mm -hmm. to like help you, I guess. Oh, and it, it makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> <coughs> it's like like when you feed a baby and you you, you move your mouth. I do that. <laughs> I do that. Pray that I can get everything done for a visit in August. I'm praying that I can be um, well <coughs> for a visit in August. Oh, I, yeah. I, which I think I should be. We have to. We have to be careful too what we plan because I got summoned for jury duty, <coughs> and uh, which I'm not fussing about. You know, that's my duty. But I just Tinker's it, wife. I got you. I don't know. I have to go on July 12th to see if they're going to choose me. <laughs> More than likely not. More than likely not. Because I'm awfully opinionated. Patty says everybody does that when feeding babies. I I do it when <laughs> feeding anybody's like eating in front of me. I, I, I don't know. <coughs> it's weird. I've noticed sometimes like if, if I'm gonna tell you something and you have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna say, I mouth you mouth it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fell and broke her arm. Oh. oh, getting out of the hospital this afternoon. Wow. Okay, Barbara Dell. Certainly. Um. Surely you mean four raw quail eggs, right, Gary? <laughs> Wait. It says four raw four raw quail with orange juice. Surely eggs. Quail eggs. Not whole quail. <laughs> oh, that would be hard to follow. <coughs> Two years, no signs. That's I could see that. Raw eggs and orange juice. Post our P.O. box again. Oh, there it is. Kate's on it. She got it. Thank Kate you, Kate. Kate beat me to it. Oh, I'm trying to, I've tried to serve jury duty four <coughs> times in my life. Never worked. Once they find out my dad was a police officer, they say, thank you, ma'am. Here oh. we go. Oh, wow. Um, oh, heck, they may not keep me just because I'm a fireman. Then. I don't know. And the day they summoned me, I'm supposed to work, so... I have to skip like the morning 
and go in to work in the evening after uh, <coughs> after the jury duty. You probably find a work connection exemption. I don't necessarily want to be exempt because it is, you know, jury duty is it's like voting. It's a duty. I just don't want it. Well, to. as far as a work exemption, though, you work in a different <coughs> parish, so yeah. Um, I don't know. I just don't want it to conflict with our plans. That's all. Right. She was an attorney, so they never wanted her. I can see it. Uh, alrighty, guys. So, if, no more prayer requests. Mullen going in the mail tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and it usually only takes about three or four days to get here, <coughs> so um, I, I'm keeping track of that. So, um, as soon as I am up and able, I'm going to be working on getting those um, those plants to you. I just didn't want to send them when it was too too hot and mm. have them die before they get there. I want to send you viable plants. Yeah. Not sure. like dead little dried up raisin plants. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Thank you so much for all the prayers, guys. It, they were Absolutely, definitely Kathy. felt. They were they were definitely felt. Each and every one of them. I, I was a nervous wreck before surgery. I really was. And you know, just knowing that I had an army behind me, um, you know, and everybody praying and, and words of encouragement and stuff, it, it was it was a huge help. Uh, Amanda's been messaging me every couple of days. So, yeah, I've got several private messages, too, from yeah. people, family and extended family and friends. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks again for all the prayers for, for Amy and me. Hopefully when I see you again next week, uh, I won't have the, and Amy will be wireless again. And uh, we'll be, we'll be all on the mend. Uh, and until next week, God bless. Have a great night. Be safe, guys. We'll see you next week for sure. Love you guys. Thanks.